Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our uh, UI kit tutorial series for iOS development uh, by taking a look at UI image view. Now what is UI image view? Well, UI image view is a view that allows us to display images in our app. This coincides with another type called UI image. Now, UI image you may have seen before because, for example, buttons can have an image inside of them and that is, and that is a UI image generally. So, uh, if you've experimented with those properties, you should have a general-ish idea of how to use a UI image. However, um, I'm going to show you how to load not only a, a resource from your assets catalog uh, into an image view, but also how you can load an SF symbol into an image view. So let's get started. First things first, we need to create our image view. So we can do this by saying var image view equals UI image view. And then here we're going to give it an image. And inside of here, it's going to take in an optional UI image. Uh, so we'll say UI image. And then here, here is where we can uh, tell it whether we want an SF symbol or a resource. So we will start with a resource. Now there are two ways at this point to be able to load a resource from your asset catalog. First is by using the resource uh, initializer that, ha that takes in an image resource. This is an Xcode generated constant that represents the specific asset in your asset catalog. This is, this is new. Th this is relatively new. Uh, you used to have to do it with a string literal. And you can still do this. Uh, by using the image literal resource name. Uh, this takes in a string for the resource name uh, that you want to use. We are going to use just the image resource to make it easier so we don't get any typos or anything like that. And the resource that we want is icon book bucket. This is a, this is an image resource in my asset catalog that is the app icon pretty much for my app that I'm working on as we speak. It should hopefully be out by the time uh, this video is up on YouTube, but if it's not, this is I guess a sneak peek at the app icon. <laughs> um, and so now we have our image view created. Relatively simple stuff right here. Let's go ahead now and configure our image view. There's not much configuration we need to do, but I do want to show you some of the properties you can assign or retrieve from an image view. All right, so we'll say image view dot, and we can we uh, we can get or set the UI image. Uh, we can set the tint color for the image. We can set the content mode. We can make sure that it uh, supports programmatic constraints. We can get layer information. Uh, we can set the background color. We can get the we can get the frame of the image. 
Uh, we can determine whether or not it's hidden. And then we can, we can do all kinds of stuff with it, right? So, what I would recommend to you is go to the UI image view documentation uh, and look at some, and look at these properties. Uh, explore what they, you know, what it says that they're for and stuff like that. If you want to experiment, by all means, experiment. Right. Now, UI image view, as you can tell by some of these animation properties, does support GIFs. All right. Um, so if you want to have a GIF, you can. But what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at the content mode equals dot, and we'll take a look at some of the constants here. So we have scale aspect fit, scale aspect fill, center, scale to fill top, bottom, bottom left, bottom right, left, redraw, right, top left, top right, and in it. So what we want is we want to scale this to fit. Uh, where is it? This, that's scale to fill. We don't want that. We want scale aspect fit. So I want to make sure that I know what type this is. This is a... UI view content mode. Okay. Okay, scale aspect fit. Let's take a look at what the scale aspect fit does. So we can say Safari Apple Developer documentation UI view content mode S scale aspect fit all right There we go, that's what we want. So let's take a look at what this is here. All right, so this is, uh, th this particular content mode, as you can see, allows us to say, hey, scale this view like to fit uh, its, you know, whatever view it's inside, right? So, for example, we have our image view constrained to the top, bottom, leading, and trailing anchors of our safe area with 20 padding in between the image view and the edge of the screw of the safe area with this content mode set this will tell our image view to scale the image so it fits that area the best it can with its aspect ratio that it that it currently has you know maintain that aspect ratio if we were to specify that we wanted it to scale uh, to fill the area, then that would be slightly different because then it wouldn't maintain 
its uh, aspect ratio, it would stretch to fit the available space, or rather to fill the available space. All right. So let's go ahead then, and uh, let, let's enable the program the programmatic constraints. Image view dot translates auto resizing mask into constraints. Do you get it yet? <laughs> you know. All right. And then we'll add our image view as a sub view. So view dot add sub view image view. Save that. And now let's run our code. Yes, I would like to replace I would like to replace the currently running app. There we go. And here we are in our simulator. So you can see our image doesn't exactly take up the entire screen of the phone. But it does, uh, it does scale the image so it, fits the, uh, so it fits the space while maintaining its aspect ratio. And that is great at all right so we have we have this um so we have our our little image here from our asset catalog but what if we want to render an sf symbol well we can do that pretty easily by changing our initializer for our ui image view So instead of our initializer where we're specifying a resource, we want the one with a system name. All right, so we want UI image system name. And this will be, let's say, Swift, right? We'll save that. And we can save it, run it. And now we have an now we have our Swift SF symbol in the center of our screen, nice and big. Now, why is it blue? Well, it's blue because that is kind of the uh, that's when you just specify the system name and, and stuff like that. It that's kind of its default for whatever reason. We can change that uh, color if we would like. So let's go into our configure image view method. We'll say image view dot tint color. We'll set that equal to dot system orange. And if I'm not mistaken, that should change the color of our image. It does. So now our image is orange. There are many things you can do with an SF symbol as well. Like you can animate them. You can specify, I want this to be a multicolor SF symbol if it supports it and stuff like that. But for now, uh, that we're gonna leave it here because we don't want to. We don't want this video to go on too long. For one thing, and two, that is a top. That's a that's a whole entire video on its own. So thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.